You ever just see rocks and you're like, wow, all of those rocks are gay. Steven Universe just ended. That's what I'm talking about. Steven Universe. Hi, I'm Spyro, and I'm going to tell you that I hated the Steven Universe ending. Steven Universe future, of course. Steven Universe ending before the movie was actually pretty nice, and it wasn't a bad like, ending at all. But that wasn't the ending ending, and we, but even if it had been, that would have been a better conclusion than the one we got with Steven Universe future. Um, sorry, I wanted to feel cooler, but I don't have actual sound effects, so, you know, fireworks, pew, pew. Um, what was I saying? Steven Universe future, oh my god. Okay, so this was advertised. Wasn't it supposed to be 52 episodes originally? That's like my first question, because I swear on my life, it was advertised that Steven Universe Future was supposed to be 52 episodes, and it wasn't... It's... 20 episodes, was it? 20? I think it was something like that. 20, 22, I don't know. But a lot less than 52. Um, also, it was advertised that... the ending was supposed to be... enough to conclude everything. And then Rebecca Sugar and the Universe released one of the episodes earlier, where Steven goes into Homeworld, and after shattering Jasper, and he's like, oh, I need help, and this and that, and then we go through the rundown, we see Spinel again, it's nice. And then you're like, hold up. There's three episodes left, because the conclusion is supposed to be an hour long, and it's just four episodes. But now there's three episodes left, and he hasn't corrupted yet. And at this point, I'm pretty sure all of us knew that he was going to corrupt, but he hadn't at the time. And now he... The next episode, he does? Was it the next episode? I'm pretty sure it was the next episode. No, yeah, he goes back home, and then he's, like, feeling, and then he corrupts. So that, like, this, the second to last episode is when he corrupts. Ten, ten minutes for him to go full corruption? Are you kidding me? What an awful ass fucking, oh my god. Why? Okay, you're kidding. There's, like, two episodes left, and he the second to last, he corrupts. That's terrible. There's no way there's gonna be a conclusion that is sufficient. And guess what? There wasn't. There wasn't a good conclusion. There wasn't a good enough conclusion at all. In that, he corrupts. That him being corrupted, of course, is gonna take the whole episode. And before the episode happened, I was like, I really hope this isn't all happy-go-lucky and we all tell him how we feel and why we love him, and then he goes back to normal. Oh, I, you know, I was a fool. I was a fool to think they would not do that. Do you know what they did? Do you know what they did? They made Garnet him size? They made Garnet the size of corrupted Steven. And then she tackles him in a hug, and then everyone else hugs him in their normal size? That was dumb. That was so stupid, first of all. That was so stupid. Why would you make her big? And what... If you keep up with, like, everything Steven Universe, you also know they did do Steven Universe bingo cards. And I'm pretty sure for all of them, when they do these episode releases that every single block gets filled out, wasn't there supposed to be, like, a new fusion or something? Or someone gets a new form? I guess, like, in theory, Corrupted Steven is a new form, but I don't think that's what they were saying. Also, oh my god, there's just so many problems with the stupid fucking Steven Universe, you just sucked. Oh my god. So it ends. It ends. You, the thing that pissed me off was, after the corruption episode, there's just a time gap of months. This isn't me making shit up. They were like, oh hey, it's been a, mo a couple months since this happened, so I feel like the gems are still kind of concerned about me. And so like, I don't want to just break this to them that I'm going like, to move out because it seems sudden and they might think something's going on. Are you, like, month gap between the second to last episode and the last episode that's so... Fucking stupid! Are you kidding me? Are you stupid? What kind of awful ass right? For, for the to that for that to be the last episode, that's the dumbest shit ever. You don't just do a time skip, and then everyone's having like it was. It's so dumb, and then everyone's like having their like little happy ending kind of thing. But no one's ending really got explained except Stevens. Really, that was kind of like all that was talked about, and then like that Greg's gonna be living in the house. And Connie's in college, and he's gonna find time to see her. Like, that was it. No one else. No one else has got concluded at all. Jasper was kind of like, oh, yeah. She's doing a tsundere moment where she's like, oh, um, bye. And then she, like, goes back in, and she's at the school now, and I guess that's nice, and she's gonna learn to be a better person or something. <sighs> Dumb. Um, <laughs> the Bismuth Squad Group B, they were sad, and that was nice. But it also didn't talk about anything that they were doing or how they were doing with anything. I mean, I guess they're not like vocal characters, but you could still... I'm pretty sure there's enough people that care about all this. And before you get at me with like whole like, Oh, well, Rebecca Sugar said that they also wanted to continue 
the Steven Universe world. Like, yeah, that's cool, but then it would it still have to be related to Steven Universe to have actual conclusions? Or it'd be an ugly way to set up referencing other people in a whole other spin-off show? That'd be ugly. If they're doing everything, um, the rest of the story in, like, games or books or everything, that's a cash grab and I hate that. Don't do that. Don't have canon story in off books that aren't being shown to the public because then we have to pay for that. And I'm not doing that. Do you think I'm going to go out and buy a book for you? I mean, I guess me, my my one person doesn't matter, but I know a lot of other people won't. But b despite that, I know that a lot of people still will. So congrats, you're still getting money from some people, but not from me. So, ha, ha, you're not getting $15 out of me for that book. Ugh. Or you're not getting $5 from me for that app. Ha, you know, like, I mean, I guess it's not like a power move or whatever, but... <laughs> So there's a time skip. Um, things that we didn't talk about. Steven's actual progress in getting better. Like, they were like, oh yeah, he goes to a therapist now. Okay. Okay. The, you know, I really, when he got corrupted, I genuinely hoped they killed him off. I really hoped they killed off Steven Universe. Because he was just a whiny bitch this whole series. Steven Universe future, he was just an ass. And like, it's dumb because there were so many things, so many lessons that he taught and that he'd kind of learned along the way by telling every single other person that he interacted with for them to like deal with their problems. There were so many great ways that that went and happened. Like he learned things, there were these deep messages behind those things. Like, oh, sometimes you don't have to forgive people. Sometimes it takes time. Sometimes when you have your own traumas, like it takes time for things to be normal again. There were so many great messages. And what, what happened between that and future? Nothing, N nothing. He forgot everything from Steven Universe, the original canon. In Steven Universe's future, there was like, was there even references to the original series aside from the movie? No. He literally, every story and lesson that he had learned, he didn't do anything with. Everything that, none of, none of the things that he told other people. If you remember vividly, there was that whole arc where Steven was getting more sad about things. And Amethyst was like, no, we were, like, that's not, that's not your burden to bear. You're not, because he was like, I'm not Rose. And they're like, she's like, no, you're not supposed to feel like you're Rose or whatever. Like, you're still a kid. Live it up. Like, we're not trying to have our problems be put onto you. And and then he was like, oh yeah, I'm, he was like learning. I'm not my mom, and I'm my own person. I should be doing what Steven does. And this and that. And then what happened to that? What the fuck happened to that? Nothing. Then he's a whiny bitch, and the whole time he's like, oh yeah, I don't know what to do with myself. Um, what am I without my friends? And oh no, all my friends are leaving. Like, yeah, I get that you were traumatized when you were like 10 with, because all these crazy things happened. But also, you would think that given how, unrealistically emotionally mature you were for a 10 year old that you would actually know how to process any of this or you would think that anyone around you would have been like hey remember when you told me this you should probably consider some of that on yourself because it helped me no they didn't do that they didn't do any of that mm. Ooh. oh my god it was a nice twist because because the way they set it up for in, in the movie it seemed like there was a lot of conspiracy that the diamonds were only being nice and being great because of, um, Stephen, Stephen telling them to, and they were like, they actually hadn't changed on the inside, but it was nice to see that they actually did change, and they were actually nice pacifist people who cared about other gems now, and they weren't, like, racist overlords. But, like, great, everyone else got a, like, I get that the point was everyone is moving on, and everyone else had their own thing, but that isn't a conclusion, you know, because we had interactions with them, but it wasn't as a, Farewell, oh, it's nice to see you again, it's glad to see that you're doing this, and now bye. That wasn't a good, co that wasn't a great way to conclude that. That was ugly. <sighs> Steven, I really wanted them to kill off Steven. I know that's mean, I know that's so mean. I wanted them to kill off Steven. He was so annoying in the series. I didn't cry. I didn't feel sad. I've watched this entire series, right? I've been watching this series since it started coming out. I've watched this whole series. I loved all the songs. I loved all the fusions. I was so amped for every single fusion. But this was ass. I felt nothing, because Steven was such a moody, whiny bitch, and he was so fucking annoying, I was like, I genuinely hope, I genuinely hope they kill him off. And then for when he was corrupted, I was like, I really hope they don't do this happy-go-lucky, oh, we love you, this and that, it's okay to cry. They did that. We knew it was okay to cry. He never had any quarrels or qualms about holding things in. He was clearly always so emotionally open about everything that was happening. So now that he's a teen, he just is emotionally dumb and stupid and just keeps it on to himself. That's dumb. That's terrible story storytelling, and that doesn't make any sense in the context of everything that happened in the actual series. Oh my god, I sound like the sonic bitch who was like, When will you learn? When will you learn that your auctions have consequences?
I shouldn't be caring this much about the show. But I wouldn't be caring if it wasn't absolutely stupid. And so, it was advertised that you're gonna have all your questions answered. And guess what? I have so many questions. Um, the arc, like two episodes before the finale, where um, Greg Universe, or was that the episode right before? Like the starting finale four episodes. Where he learned that his, his life would have been better if his dad had had like a stricter life and if, if his dad had been stricter on Steven and he would have made him go to school and he would have not held him like a free spirit like Greg ended up being. Like, that whole, that episode, well, it could have done so much more. It could have actually added conflict to the story. Because even, in, in that ten episode, in that ten minutes of an episode, he was like, oh, my dad, like, he had a picture of his dad from graduation when he was a nice, camped boy who was controlled and had a schedule and had a normal life where his parents wanted him to do things that sometimes he didn't want to do. He had a nice picture of him, and he was like, what? Well, you were literally like Pink Diamond. You were like Mom. And you still, like... I would have had a lot better of a life if I had the life you had. And then he was mad. He was clearly disappointed with the kind of person his dad actually was when he ended up deleting the picture of normal Greg Universe, or Greg DeMeo. And then what happened? Nothing. After that episode, they didn't fucking talk about it. He didn't disclose his disappointment with his dad. He didn't say anything. Are you kidding me? Are you stupid? What the hell was that? What the hell was the point of having that arc other than making me also hate Greg Universe? They didn't do anything for the story. They didn't talk about it after. There was like five episodes left. They didn't talk about it after. They didn't tell. He didn't tell his dad that he was disappointed. He didn't do it. There was no change that came from that other than being like, wow, I kind of hate Greg now. And yeah, arguably speaking, Stephen's life would have been better if he would have had a life like Greg had. And that's it. That didn't add anything. He didn't confront his dad aside from being like, oh, I would have had a better life if I was had my life like you when they crashed the van. That was it. There was no change. There was no... Greg's dad was, or Steven's dad, wasn't even in the following episodes until, like, Corruption. And he didn't even do anything other than being like, Oh, I've always ran away when he was gem stuff, but now I'm here and I'm gonna be here because that's my son. And that wasn't, that wasn't a big revolution. That wasn't great. That wasn't a big moment. That was stupid. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this series ending was so stupid. So, other questions. Um, well, first of all, why, what the hell did that do? And that didn't do, that didn't affect anything between his relationship with his dad. Like, in the following four episodes. Um, wasn't there supposed to be a new fusion and a new form of someone? Did that happen? The new form, people were like, oh, it could have been just spin out when they were changed and that. Okay, I guess. If you just want to cram whatever justification you want into that. <clears throat> Who else? Uh, Pink Pearl's Volleyball's Eye. What happened to that? And I guess Lars is still in space? We never got to find out anything about Emerald. Like, are we gonna talk about that? There's just so many things. Like, I get that in that one episode of Steven meeting Chep, or whatever, where Sadie was like, we did make up. It didn't happen in front of you because it was, you know, private. Like, I guess you could be like, oh, everything happened off screen. But that's stupid. Because while things happen off screen, we don't know what happened. It's not the same as being like, this is a conclusion. And. This we reached this conclusion because things happened in the background. No, this whole story or this end is everything is happening in the background, and that's it. That's enough of a conclusion. We're not answering it because it doesn't matter. That's stu shut up. No, stupid as hell. <clears throat> that I, I'm sure there's other questions and other things that I don't think made any sense. What are we just? Is Stephen, if his gem was detachable, I thought there was gonna be actual resolution or comeback. Where Pink Diamond came up and he confronted her, like when he was like, I am a monster. Like, I thought he was actually gonna talk about his mom. I thought he was gonna see his mom at some point again. Like, I get that they're one person, but no, clearly they're not exactly. The, I don't know, there's just so many things. None of the actual conflict can be truthfully resolved without confronting Rose Quartz slash Pink Diamond. You know, like, you can't just be like, oh yeah. My mom was a cheaty tyrant who avoided all her problems, and now she's just always been gone, and I'm never going to have actual closure, but I'm going to pretend that I have closure because I'm ac accepting the fact that I'm not going to see my mom again. That's fucking stupid. That's terrible. That's terrible logic, and that's dumb. Are you- oh my god, it's so stupid. And what- just- how do you- how do you actually try to write closure without him seeing his mom again? It doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. I- like, maybe this could be this whole giant overarching thing for, like, an absent parent or whatever, 
but that wasn't the point of the story, and if you watch the series, that genuinely isn't the point of the story. It's just, hey, I'm cleaning up the mess that my mother made, and that's it. There isn't, oh, hey, an absent parent makes me feel sad. That wasn't the whole thing. It was like, this person directly affected so many things, and why all these negative things are happening to me, and I need to fix them. There isn't, like, an absent parent is making me feel traumatized. That wasn't the whole story. None of that was ever the topic. And this is, like, you can't have a conclusion by just being like, I fixed everything that my mother left behind, but you still don't ever see the mother? Shut up. Whatever. I don't... I just keep repeating how much I hate the show because I hate the show and its ending. It was so stupid. Steven Universe, if Steven Universe's future hadn't happened at all, the story would have been better. Honestly, that would have been a better conclusion. If just, if we hadn't gone up to the movie, that would have been fine. And they made this shit show. Are you kidding? Shut up. Whew, that's all I had to say. Um, that really is all I had to say. I, I'm sure there's a lot more. If I really looked into the lore and more things about this, I would cho ooh, I would eat the show up and I would just, ooh, you would hate the show more. Or you would think I'm stupid because you want a white knight and just pretend that everything Rebecca Sugar does is great. But it's not. And this show was awful. A lot. Of, fortunately, a lot of the people that I've talked to who actually watched this show and actually liked it too were like, wow, that ending sucked ass. And one of my friends was went so far as to like, we're like, when we were having our watch party, the four of us were pissed at the ending. So we're going to make our own ending. We're going to write our own fucking ending. And I'm like, good, that's better. Because this was ass and I hated it. Oh my god. To end like the whole series of that in like two episodes. 20 minutes of shitty ass show. Ooh. With a time jump of months in between. Shut up. Shut up. Die. Just what awful storytelling. Okay. Oh. Bye. Haha, <laughs> that's it. From the... Don't get me wrong, I like the series, but they wrote it, Steven Universe Future, so terribly that I wouldn't, I couldn't even cry. I couldn't feel bad that he was leaving home, or that the, that they redid a little repies of uh, Cookie Cat's little song. None of that. I didn't feel crap for that. I was like, wow, I'm glad this is over. They, they actually, like, they made it so bad that I'm actually glad it's over. I'm not sentimental. I'm not sad. I don't even, I don't even know how I feel about going back and watching any more of the series like, re-watching stuff, because this and it's so bad that it really tainted, like, the whole experience. And I hope other people feel that way, because this is, like, maybe just stop while you're ahead, you know? Oof. Bye. Uh, bye.